So, Capricorn, the recent past energy, Seven of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Between you and your person. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, it can be a card about returns on investments. This can be literal. Maybe a bank account returning money to you. Or figuratively, such as investments of time, energy, and effort that you put into a relationship. You'll be reaping what you have sown. Now, this is actually really positive, the Seven of Pentacles. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while, and things will be moving along really well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. So, you may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, money, situations. Let me, let me rephrase that. You may have to decide where to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you're already involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, it's with this Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations that are no longer or that are not healthy or realistic. You're just holding on in an unhealthy way. Put it that way. This card, when you get it in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. This Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety and fear. Because if you take a look at the card, the Four of Pentacles is the card below the word pass. You see how this man, he's on all fours of his Pentacles. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. And if a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside his head, he'd still be clinging on in that, probably in that same position. And if he fell over, he'd just bounce right back onto those pinnacles and just cling on really tightly, very firmly resistant this person is so it is about anxiety and fear and or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure but the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping it does not bring security so basically the recent past energy between you and your person capricorn seven of pentacles clarified by this four of pentacles so, yeah, it looks like for, for some of you, you really, really, really wanted the connection to work. Because this lady, if you look at the Seven of Pentacles, she's, this lady, she's watering, it's a card above the word pass. She's watering a plant. She's had it ever since it was a little tiny baby. She gets up every morning and every night to take care of this plant. Like I said, she's had it ever since it was a little baby when she could hold it in the palm of her hand. Now it's about eight or ten feet tall. The leaves are green, dark green and rich and healthy. She takes care of it in the morning and before she goes to bed. So yeah, for some of you, you're in a connection or you're with someone that you really, really, really wanted to work. And, and I emphasize the word really because um, because of the Seven of Pentacles. And then I'm just looking at the Four of Pentacles. Some of you might go about it in an unhealthy way. 
So just take this four of pentacles. Take it as a warning. You don't want to scare this person off. Because there's some unhealthy um, anxiety that you could have. Maybe about you're afraid to lose this person. Or you're holding on too tight and not giving enough breathing space. And it's because you really, really want it to work. Really. Both of those cards are saying, yeah, you really, really want it to work. You don't want anything to come knock you off of this connection. You're going to hold on to it as tightly as you can. So, it's saying to kind of like um, to alleviate some of the anxiety. Um, true love allows for space between lovers, no matter what. No one can really control another person. So, yeah, you do have to give breathing space. So, just take it as a warning. There's somebody that you really, really want to be with or you really, really want the connection to work. But some of, some of you are going about it in an unhealthy way. I'm going to use this word. A lot of you hate when I use this word. Some of you are being clingy and needy. Not all of you. Don't get mad at me and kill me in the comments. Because I know you hate when I use that word. But anyway. It's unhealthy. Who wants anxiety like that? So figure out a figure out a better approach. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the seven of cups and it's with the nine of cups. Now the seven of cups can be occurred about choices. It does indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization having too much going on, there's a need to narrow your focus, you're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well, so choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember you can control in some areas how much you're trying to take on. Now it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, it's most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now the appearance of this Nine of Cups, it's about happiness, good things to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So, coming up, Capricorn, for you and your person, Seven of Cups clarified by this Nine of Cups. Well, yeah. I guess I can see why you're clinging on now so anxiously or... <coughs> In an unhealthy way. Because you realize that your person, they have they have options. Yeah, they got a lot of choices. And you could be feeling like you're just an option. But you really, really wanted to work with this person. You know they have options. But the good thing is that the nine of it's clear the seven of cups is clarified by the nine of cups so i'm getting that you don't even know this your person's not letting you in on this secret capricorn but they they actually have very strong desire for you they feel very blessed and satisfied to have you and it's a nine of cups is a wish card you hear this person's wish. I don't even think they're letting you in on that. I don't think so. Because if they did, this Four of Cups, wouldn't it wouldn't have come out. 
for you in the reading. Not Four of Cups, but the Four of Pentacles. The card below the word pass, it will not have come out. They're not letting you in. You or their wish come true, Capricorn. I don't know. Does this person just like to see you sweat? Yeah. This person has a very, very strong desire for you. That's what the Nine of Cups can be about. And they feel blessed and satisfied to have you. Yeah. But they do have options. And you know this, but... Um, this person has 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 great emotions for you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Knight of Pentacles and it's with the World card. Okay, well, this Knight of Pentacles is actually a really good energy. I like the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a very stable, solid, committed type of energy. Um, Knight of Pentacles is a very loyal type. Knight of Pentacles could, is a type that could make a, is a type that would make a good father. Yeah. The commitment is solid when you get the Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, it's an indicator of a solid, stable, and committed type of energy. If this is representing a person in a relationship, the person is practical, patient, protective. This person is even known as the, your knight in shining armor. Yeah. Loyal and faithful type. So that's interesting. It's interesting that you got this with this in your reading showing up with Seven of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, I love it. Stable, solid, grounded, committed. Well, let's get some clarity because it's with the world card. Now, the world card is about completion. You worked hard, you're almost to the finish line in some way, so don't quit now because you're so close. You're you can feel like you need some well deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it. You're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, it's a really good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. So, it's important if this is the case to toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Yeah. The world card is about completion. It's about closing a chapter or chapters in your life. It's about closure, ending a journey. So Capricorn, the challenge, Knight of Pentacles clarified by the world card. So yeah, your person with this Knight of Pentacles here, they could be reaching out to you or coming towards you. I'm just I'm saying this because the way this person he looks like he's ready to f fly in on this. What is that? A squirrel? A huge squirrel? I don't know what that is. But I hope he doesn't arrive to you like that on a squirrel because he'd never make it. But yeah, he, your person is on his way to to you. It's a good thing, though. They're coming to, towards you like the Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to close out a lot of things in their life. Close out chapters that are really not serving them anymore. Like I said, this person actually, they see you as the one that makes them happy. They feel blessed and satisfied to be with you. They feel um, a very strong desire for you. It's a yes when it comes to you. They do have options, but it looks like your person, they could be coming towards you 
wanting to make this more committed. It looks like they, they're choosing you. They're, they could be ready to turn in their player cards for you, Capricorn. As a world card, they're closing out. They're closing out a lot of these options that are just, it's just not serving them. Because you're the one, you're the one that they really want. Yeah, you're the one that they they could they could see turning in their player cards and becoming committed and solid and stable with. That's why the Knight of Pentacles is here and that's why the World card is here. So yeah, they have or they had options, but they're choosing you, Capricorn. So let's move on over. Let's take a look. And see what the outcome is. Without the full card and it's with the moon. Now the full card. It's always an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways it indicates the purity and open hearted energy and innocence of a child. We know children they're trusting. And trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. It's considered a positive card in the deck. But it's important to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see in the picture, he's not. Yeah, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So, it's with the moon card. Now, with the moon card, you can start to feel psychic or intuitive more than usual. It's important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when you get the moon card, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel that you cannot trust someone, then maybe you cannot. You have to go with your gut instincts. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, unfortunately, it may take longer than you would like for it to. So it's about trying to stay patient when you get the moon card also. So basically, your outcome, Capricorn, the fool, and it's with the moon. Clarified by the moon. So yeah, your person, like I said, they're reaching out to you. They're coming in. They're wanting to be be with you as Knight of Pentacles. They're closing out cycles and people that are just not serving them. You're their wish come true. You really want this to happen. Really, really, really. The outcome is showing you, you're so glad your person is reaching out to you in a more solid, stable type of way. You're ready for this. You're jumping right on in there. You're taking a leap of faith towards them. That's what the full card does. That's what it indicates. Um, yeah, you're just jumping right on in there. If you could see his face, the face of the full card, it's the card above the word outcome. If you put your, your screen on full, you can see the details of his face. He's so happy that his person is, it feels, you're going to feel, start to feel like your person is choosing you. They're done with the options. The world card is here. They're closing up all those cycles, all those chapters with all the extras, with all the options. They choose you, and you're just as happy as anyone has ever been just by looking at the face of the full card so you just you jump right on in there this is what you've been waiting for now because the moon card is there yeah the moon card is here it's saying that it's it's I'm getting that some of you might start to feel like, could this be real? Could this be true? Some of you are going to start to question it. 
and some of you will start to maybe hold yourself back because you your your um, mind is gonna start to play tricks with you making you feel like should I trust this should I trust that this person really wants to be stable loyal and offer commitment but most of you are just gonna jump right on in there and take a leap of faith and go for it it's showing that your person is ready to close out the chapters with all these others they choose you you're their wish come true so Capricorn that is the reading that I have for you I hope you enjoyed the reading I hope it resonated as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season hanging there. It's gonna pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourself, come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, or a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they are not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I'm hoping that you have happy holidays. Take care.